Welcome again to another episode of the Windsor Gallery Art Chat with myself, Theo Alonso, and my co-host, Wafai Ibiang. Thank you, Theo. And we're joined here today by a very special guest, a talented artist, Barry Yusuf. Thank you so much, Barry, for joining us here today. Thank you, Wafai. Yeah, so you've taken some time out of your very busy schedule to be with us. I appreciate. But first, I want to talk about your current exhibition at the Gordon Gallery in Israel in loving memory of love. First of all, one of my favorite exhibition titles. Really, and congratulations on that as well. Thank you. So yeah, please do tell us more about the current project. Um, so, in loving memory of love is a body of work that was typically inspired by the current state of our existence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, we, you look around everywhere and the, the main reason we really exist is um, we exist with all the differences is that it's for us to actually be able to live and coexist with one another. And you don't find that anywhere anymore. It's, it's just one bad news to the other and one form of violence to the other. So I realized that, okay, I needed to, you know, bring our minds back with this body of work. And it felt like once upon a time, we did experience love, and then coming back right now, it's like love doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. So that inspired the title, In Love and Memory of Love. So it's like mm -hmm. love is dead, but we're trying to remember it with this body of So love. fascinating. Remembering love. Yes. Yeah, very sweet. Yeah. So Barry, you're a self-taught artist. Is that, that is correct. Yes. You've never had any formal institutionalized training. No. But it is fair to say that you have been kind of doing this your entire life. Yeah? yeah. So where was that turning point where you were just like going from regular Barry and you just became Barry the artist? Regular Barry was just someone who was searching. In mm. fact, I was doing everything. At some point, I was a barber. At some point, I was working at the restaurant. You know, I was putting my hands everywhere. At some point, I was selling honey. Mm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, just to, you know, make mm -hmm. ends meet. Um, and then it got to a point where I realized that I had something that, you know, allowed to sleep. And then one fateful day, I decided to make a sketch of a friend. And that really was like a turning point because the reaction I got from that sketch was different. Mm -hmm. You know, I would easily would sketch in school and everyone would be excited. Yes, but this was different because the person said they wish they could tell themselves to come out of the paper right and oh, wow. the smile on the face was you know um i was happy about it mm -hmm. so i went back home and started drawing everything mm -hmm. and i was drawing everyone in the family and that was it from there i felt like i could really do more with art you know i could um, create change one of the i think your work is very distinctive. A lot of your, you know, work that you've kind of created in the past years or so, you know, you have these black figures with beautiful bronze and golden skin. I, I love that. So I would like to hear more about kind of the inspiration. How did you get that. there? Um, so I always would paint with um, charcoal and coffee. And with that mix of medium, I was able to create a um, black hue on my subject and yes the market really enjoyed that you know but it got to a point I realized that I didn't want people to see us just for our colors anymore um, to the whole identity of you being a black man and that being it alone I wanted to take that off mm -hmm. so I needed to introduce something that would of course, you would know it's a black person that is there, but the first thing you are seeing is not the black skin. Mm -hmm. You will now understand that there should be more to this person than the color of their skin. Mm -hmm. um, so I decided to introduce the bronze hue on my subject. And so far, so good. I like to believe that it, it has created a different kind of idea for how people visualize our people. You know, you immediately see a painting and you're seeing this black figure but painted in bronze is, is an alloy that has always been, you know, attributed to royalty from this side of the world, yeah? And it makes you question if 
the only thing you should know about this person is the color of their skin. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So typically that's really what it's about. Thank you so much, Barry. That is beautiful. So speak to us a little bit about the art industry here in Abuja. How do you think it's going? Um, I think it's picking up. I believe it's picking up. Yeah. It's uh, it's very much quiet. Mm -hmm. But because of that, there are a lot of opportunities that, you know, um, people can really make the best use of it. Exactly. I yeah. like to believe that, um, you know, more galleries are coming up, just like um, Windsor Gallery and being able to bring this attention to Abuja is something that is really important. And, you know, we're happy that you guys are able to kickstart it here. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah. It's, it's nice to kind we of... We love that there's a lot of room for growth here in Abuja and we're here for it, you know? Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's nice because, I mean, you're one of those artists who began working out of Abuja, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that you've kind of had you know, opportunities and maybe things that may want to pull you away from here and go to Lagos. And you've kind of responded to that as, you know, this is, this is my, yeah. my city. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, everyone believes if you want to be successful, yeah, go to Lagos. Mm -hmm. The opportunities are there. And for a long time, myself and, you know, my friends in the arts, we would always consider, oh, just go to Lagos. You will meet someone at least. So, but we said it, this, there's really room to grow in Abuja. Exactly. Yeah. Um, there's not much happening, so you don't even have competition here. Mm -hmm. You can actually put your work out there and you get the attention you are looking for. Mm -hmm. So we decided to remain in Abuja. And we've been exhibiting everywhere, showing everywhere, up until the time that we got recognized. Yeah. So now you're shown in how many different countries? Ah. Oh. <laughs> A lot. Yes, mm, yes. <laughs> a, a, a lot. Mm. I honestly have to go back and look through mm -hmm. it to know the exact mm. number, but wow. it's quite a no, So, I mean, you, you, you kind of established yourself, you know, as this kind of um, art ambassador, mm -hmm. because I, I believe your work is very well appreciated, you know, in many countries. Across the world. Yeah, but does... Does the success you have overseas translate to the success you kind of have on a national level? No. It doesn't. Why do you think that is? Um, I don't think um, that recognized down here. Um, but really, once you make a name for yourself out there, that is only when you are noticed. But for someone like myself, I'm always, you know, in the that don't engage much you know until i'm being reached out to so i've not really done anything that will make anybody over here really notice me or mm -hmm. know me for so yeah i don't think that translates but mm -hmm. obviously I'm, I'm trying as much as possible yeah. to start engaging with them we can see that you've come a long way in your career what 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 where would you say was the breaking point for you like when what exhibition did it for you um, breaking point. I think um, the lockdown. Mm. Yes. So wow. I, I was always working up until the lockdown, but the period where, you know, the whole George Floyd's death and um, that brought attention to the African scene, you know, everybody wanted to hear what Africans, yeah, had, to Africans say. had to say. Yeah. You know, so we were just lucky to have been working and you know had a voice as at then we're already speaking about african um identity through our works and you know everyone was interested in that so that brought the attention to us over here and we were ready to deliver as well so i think the lockdown did it for you okay. so you were just kind of trapped in your house and you were just like i have nothing to do but paint <laughs> yes yes in, and you paint black people <laughs> in fact in fact when the lockdown started i wasn't able to create yeah because it you know we we're all really really down yeah the there was a lot but, of sadness it was really dark yeah, yeah it was, it was, it was, it was a really dark us that time people are just dying, dying yes. and then we're scared yes. am i going that, to get yeah here? whether you would <laughs> you yeah. would join but what i told myself was that if death will find me, she'll find me working. 
Mm. Yeah. And then I, in fact, doing what I love. Yes. In fact, there was a there was a piece that I made. I didn't even have canvas because we couldn't go out to get material. It was just a canvas I was laying around. It had paint already. I decided to work with that, you know, and that's sitting in the school in the U- in the UK right now. Wow. So I felt like that period really, you know, made a difference for me. And everyone really at that point was looking deep, was searching for something. And I believe people were searching for found something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's great. That's simply exceptional. Like I can't even. Yeah. Taking people's sorrow and the, a dark time and turning into something, you know, refreshing, something that we can love and appreciate. I love that. All right. So, what's next for you? Um, what's next for me mm-hmm. would be residencies. Okay. Um, yes. I hope to be involved in more residencies, you know, hope to explore more, you know, learn more mediums because as a self taught artist i've just been streamlined to just one major um, aspect of art and typically it's the traditional way of painting with paints on canvas yeah. you know i hope to explore sculpting collage you know whatever is out there for me. Mm. i really want to there are no boundaries for you no no mm. <laughs> Uh, it's easy for an artist to get boxed up and just want to remain in what he's doing, but it's, it's always think, room for something. Yeah, more. that's really what makes you an artist. Mm. The growth, just always trying to grow. Okay, all right. So, Barry, thank you very much for just. We really appreciate you yeah. being here. And just you being you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, being you. <laughs> just thank you for, for being, being you. you. You know, because, and I think because you stayed so focused on your craft and that is why the abuja art thing is you know growing and becoming what it is because you are like an what's the word i'm so sorry a point of reference for yes for a lot of younger artists thank you so what would you what what would be your like your little advice for people artists that are just coming up people that don't know how to start showing their works you know what would be your advice Uh, i would say don't you know remain in your studio or in your room absolutely go, go out there ask questions get criticized yeah network and mm-hmm. also go with an open mind mm-hmm. be ready to listen because there's always someone out there that knows something you don't mm-hmm. and really that can help you so. absolutely Thank you so much, Barry. Thank, Thank you very much, Barry. I think we said this before, but we really do appreciate you being here. Yeah, no, listen, to anybody like watching mm-hmm. or listening, you know, you you have to go and check out some of his Barry stuff. Barry Yusufu, of you course. Know, and yeah, maybe one day there will be a Windsor Barry residency. <laughs> maybe. It's yeah. somewhere. Looking <laughs> forward to it. Yeah, yeah, something in the world. Thank you once again, Barry, for joining us at the Windsor Gallery Art Chat. It was a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Yeah. And a very big thank you to our audience. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>